Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica, and by god, it's been a while. And by a while, I mean uh, a little bit over a week, I think. Uh, now, what have we got on us? We have... Oh yeah, okay. So we've got some ink ribbons. We got oh, So we've got the jewel, or oh, sorry, the paperweight. Um, okay, right, let's go back upstairs. I think and I think the best thing to do is to go across the ice because luckily for us um, all this commotion that's happened inside this uh, chaotic facility has created us a new little pathway if you remember there is a door up here that we can actually get to as Claire now uh, that should be open now if memory serves Yes, yeah, well, it will be because, yeah, it's all flooded and ice shut. Excellent. I, I mean, yes, I know what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. Right, let's get down here and up and over. Now, that's the crane doohickey. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can. No, we need to get the crane key. Yeah, that's right. That's a little bit further on. A control panel for the crane. To operate the crane, I need the crane key. Yes, you do, Chris. Yes, you do. You, you're you not wrong. We shall get you the crane key. Don't you worry about a thing, young man. I've got you covered. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's here? Yeah, he is here, Chris. Yeah, we're going to have trouble. Trouble with hunters. Um, we're basically going to get tagged straight away, but that's okay because we've got Claire's gun and Claire's gun essentially renders hunters uh, a kind of a moot point really they're <laughs> well, they're a bit of a joke so as long as we have bullets for our handgun we're not really going to be worrying about hunters or sweepers for that matter uh, right, let's Put a fresh magazine in there, and yes, this wonderful little blue button here. Let's go fiddle with that one. And look at that, an entire drum of uh, extinguisher filler, I suppose. Yes, uh, I think we just, do we use that? We do, cool. You've used the extinguishant. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the extinguishant cool beans, which means now we can go down here. This will take us straight down to the armory, I believe. Where unfortunately there's a little bit of a fire ranging on. There is. There is. Now, uh, thing is, if you've left this extinguisher back at the base, you are shit out of luck. And you may be asking yourself, did I ever forget this extinguisher? Well, yes. Yes, I did. And I was totally confused by this. Because it's a really easy thing if you don't know you need it. And let's be fair, if you haven't played this game before, you're probably not going to know you need it. And you're going to... Well, I wouldn't say you will, but there's a good chance you'll leave that in the metal detector item box. And yeah, that's, that's kind of annoying. Which means you can't get the Magnum. Magnum's a cool weapon in this game. Very nice. Very juicy. One of Barry's. Probably. And you don't get a lot of bullets for it. Colt Python. Oh, so 357. It's definitely uh, one of Barry's then. Alright, sweet. Now, if you remember, around here, yes, where the missiles were, there was a little box. It's locked. A heat sensitive explosive is set here. Well, that's okay. Let's just, you know, you, uh, maybe not do that. Come on, items. There we go. Let's use our lighter on the detonator. That seems like a really smart thing to do. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Um, I've also got the comment about uh, Chris being ex Air Force which is why he can fly the Harrier and well I kind of feel really stupid when I read that because it's like well yeah of course he is yes thank you uh, thanks for that <laughs> that does explain it uh, and you know 
as uh, Jimmy, I believe, said. You know, Chris can just fucking do anything anyway, so it's a moot point. Uh, this gives us three boxes of handgun rounds, which is quite nice. Very nice. We're going to take those bad boys. Uh, I'm pretty sure he gets up. Yeah, you can see he's like an actual zombie now. So he potentially will get up at some point, but we're not going to fuck with him. Okay, yes. Yeah, Chris can do anything. I mean, you know, a few years after this event, he's going to be in um, a volcano. You know, punching his nemesis in the face. Uh, which will lead to a good time, had by all. Ah, uh, we can go through... No, we can't go through there, can we? No, I am talking rubbish again. Ignore everything I say. Everything I say. I talk shit. Wasn't there bullets in it? Yep, ignore everything I say. I talk shit. Anyway, uh, we've got the magnum at least. And we have some more bullets. Bullets are always good. Now, these spotters are persistent. I don't think these ones go away anytime soon. There's another one up here, I believe. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And this one actually comes down this corridor, I believe. There it is. Right. Run. Ah, you bastard. Now, again, we're not exactly worried by hunters. Uh, but don't really want to fight them if we don't have to. I'd rather not take the damage if I don't need to take the damage. Uh, and I believe in the previous video of this as well, which was last week now, I forgot to take my borders off, which really irritates the shit out of me, trust me. There's a sweeper that's going to charge us here. But, you know, what's the sweeper? What is a sweeper? Are we poisoned? We're actually poisoned. Oh, Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay. Well, let's keep pushing this way. I can't believe you got poisoned there. But you can see just how freaking amazing. Uh, I think it's blue herbs in here anyway, because this is a save room. I, you can see just how freaking epic. Yeah, blue herb. These bloody... Uh, handgun rounds are against sweepers. I don't know actually if sweepers are any stronger than hunters. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, oh, he really, really did us in, didn't he? Uh, not to worry. There's so many herbs in this area. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. There's also, if memory serves, a box of shotgun shells. Yeah, very hard to see, but they are there. Lovely. We can get some power route to the facility whilst we're here too. Uh, we've got some ink ribbons, which we don't need, but we'll have them because they're there. I mean, hey, why not, right? And some more handgun ammo, because if we needed anything, it's handgun ammo. Which, actually, to be fair, we are getting low on handgun bullets. And considering just how powerful the handgun is in this game. Oh, I know why. Hang on, guys. I know why I fucked that up. There's a very slight delay on my sound because I have it plugged into my PC and not into my monitor. There we go. <laughs> I thought something was throwing me off there. All right, that's better. Oh my god, that's better. Yeah, there's like a second delay of sound because it's going through my sound card and all that kind of shit. Uh, right, much better. Okay. Oh, nope, we've got that. Right, let's go turn on the power because for some reason the main circuit breaker needs this valve handle. Everything in this place needs this valve handle. Right, now circuit breaker is connected. We just need to give this big switch a good old tug. And there we go, we have power. Let there be light. Is there anything we can do with this little chest of drawers thing? No, I don't think so. Alright, fair enough. Now, this corridor is absolutely jam-packed with herbs and zombies. Herbs and zombies. Oh, God. 
Yep, knew that was going to happen. Oh, you little bastard. That's as close as it gets, guys. That is as close as it gets. We almost lost the testicle there. Losing it to a zombie is not exactly a pleasant experience, I'd wager. Oof. There we go. Well, there's some zombies dispatched, but if you think that's all the zombies of this corridor, you'd be wrong. This corridor has a lot of zombies, and there's a blue herb, which is nice. Quite a few blue herbs in this area. There's also apparently lots of hats. I guess the zombies like their hats. Which is fair. Lots of people like hats. You don't have to be... I'll just clarify. Get off me, you dickhead. You don't have to be a zombie to like a hat. Alright. That's not what we're getting at here. Just like you don't have to be a Barry Burton to fix doorknobs. Apparently Chris is pretty apt at that too. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah, I guess we could go for a head stomp on this guy, but yeah. Now, we are running out of bullets here, but don't worry. There's more, because of course there is. Look how many herbs the game's throwing at us as well. It's just like, hey, I heard you like herbs. So, we put herbs in your fucking herbs. Literally cannot hold all of these fucking herbs. This game, towards the end, just gets ridiculous with the amount of health it gives you. It's just like, oh, I heard you whinging at the beginning about how hard the game was. So, here's loads of herbs. And like I say, to be fair, this game certainly, certainly, out of all the Resident Evils, it does have... Um, if you've never played it before, it, yeah, it really starts you off rough. Uh, do we need, I don't think we need that for a while now, so we can, well, I wouldn't go as far as saying a while, but I think we can put that back, we're going to need that very soon, alright, cool, let's go, let's keep this party wagon moving, oh shit, my phone's going off, my phone is telling me it's time to leave work, but we're not at work, a little bit awkward otherwise, Okay. Oh my god, how cool is this? This looks a little bit familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks really familiar. It's cracked. What's cracked, Chris? Your skull? I don't think there's any force on Earth that could crack your skull. Um, right, yes, remember the, how fucking... Oh god, I remember how much I loved this when I first saw this uh, this room. Obviously, this is one of the first parts of the mansion that you uh, enter. Uh, the original Spencer Mansion, of course. Now, you can push this statue uh, onto that cracked tile there, and it will smash, and you'll get the map, but I, I've had issues with that actually registering. I can't remember if I'm doing something wrong, to be honest. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I tried that quite a few times. Off camera when I well it would be last week now and I could not for the life of me get that to actually fall through the floor so I don't know what I was doing wrong but something apparently anyway remember this guy yes this guy's back too we're gonna take his eyes out one by one now this is one of the reasons we need to restore power it seems to work by electric power yeah that seems really odd I put his eye back in. Um, but obviously, you know, we we met a gaming. We know what we're doing. Ah, oh, bollocks! And we took the wrong bloody eye out again. Chris, it's not how we do things around here. You only need to poke him in the eye once. Well, technically twice, but once per eye. There we go. Yeah. If you uh, have already turned the power on, the way it says, it works by electric power. It's very strange. Uh, yeah, go on. We'll put, the, we'll put the jewel back. Kind of, uh, I kind of get the feeling that you do need the jewels. Mm. 
Um, right. Do we... Yeah, we don't need all this stuff on us. Let's go back to the item room. Just because. Don't want all these uh, bits and pieces on us. It's too much. I want lots of open spaces because uh, if you guessed that they're going to throw a shit ton of herbs at us, you'd be right. Because apparently... These herbs from Raccoon City have pretty much spread throughout the world. Uh, because if you remember, uh, one of the earlier Resident Evil games, it actually mentions that those herbs are native to Raccoon City or the Arclay area. So I guess Umbrella has just been spreading them around everywhere. Which is a good idea potentially I'm surprised they didn't actually use those herbs for anything would have been pretty cool if um, they put those into the backstory somehow that's one thing I didn't really like about Resident Evil 6 the fact that you somehow converted on the fly uh, your bloody herbs into pills that you t I, I don't know I'm not a chemist I don't know how that was a thing but it wouldn't be the first time Resident Evil's done something that just makes no sense like magical goo that glues wounds back together ah no that's, I thought we forgot the bloody thing then now this is a strange area a little bit strange Look at all these ants. That's a pretty big ant hill. Let's be honest here. Let's go grab that winged object. Yeah, these ants do bite you. They don't really seem to do any damage at all. Although, I'm pretty sure if you spent, you know, a somewhat decent amount of time here, they'd probably slowly eat your face. Uh, now... Oh, yeah, we got zombies in here because, of course, we do. Come on, you brain munching bastards. Bloody zombos. Come get some. Ooh. Ooh, that's satisfying. Oh, that's so satisfying. Reload. Oh, God. A burst from this gun just feels so good. Anywho, there's a lamp here that we can light up which makes it a little bit easier to see which is nice anyway what have we got here research report on the queen ant after discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of a queen ant I have been concentrating on the research of ants the ecosystem of the ants seems truly ideal to me there is one queen ant in each ant hill, and the soldiers and worker ants are the queen's slaves. They dedicate their lives to the queen. The death of the queen ant means the doom to the entire ant hill. However, the soldiers and worker ants can easily be replaced as long as the queen ant is alive. This is exactly the same relationship between myself and the other ignorant masses. Mm-hmm. I have succeeded in creating an ideal virus by implanting the queen ant's gene into the mother virus that Spencer found. I used my otherwise useless father as a test subject. However, as I expected, the virus caused a rapid change in his cells, triggering the complete destruction of his brain cells and body flesh. Furthermore, a special type of poison gas was generated inside his body that the blue herb had no effect against. Because of this, I created an antidote in case of emergency and stored inside of the weapon slash chemical warehouse on the B2 floor. Yeah, basically, if you get through the Nosferatu uh, battle and you get poisoned, which, let's be fair, you probably are going to get poisoned because it's kind of a dick not to get poisoned, you can't just use a blue herb. So when we go save Claire, she's probably going to be poisoned. In fact, I'm I'm sure she was poisoned. So we need to go get some serum for her. 
I have decided to name this virus with unimaginable potential, the T. Veronica virus. When I find out how I can utilize the power of this wonderful virus, my great research will finally be complete. Alexia Ashford. Yes. Alexia. Right, anyway, well, we've got some herbs here. Because, of course, we have. It's Resident Evil, and it's a room, so there's going to be herbs. And we have some more zombies, too. Because it's Resident Evil. Now, these zombies don't seem to activate. You can't even shoot at them, I don't think, until you wake them up. And when they kick their friend there, he also wakes up, which is kind of strange. But hey, you know. Zombies are pretty strange creatures, to be fair. We good? Not quite. There you go, buddy. Have a lead, a lead dinner, or breakfast, whatever the hell it is. Wow, 26 bullets left. Oof. Well, that's okay. Because if you was wondering if we we're going to get more handgun bullets in this room, yes, we are. We get two packs of handgun bullets in this room because why not? The queen ant is dead. The ant hill seems to have perished. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty gnarly. She was. That is a big queen ant as well. God knows what they've injected into that thing. Probably all sorts of, you know, viruses and shit like that. I've obviously been testing this ant theory for quite a while. Not sure why the ant's dead though. Did it just starve to death? Or is it a failure? It's a portrait of a beautiful woman, the master of the Ashford family, Veronica. Yeah, they like having pictures of Veronica around, don't they? Almost as if she's their favorite or something. All right, let's go check out the other room. Oh God, I've just been hit like four, five times. Six times, got hit six times. And we're still on good health, which is cool. Right, let's go grab this herb. Lovely. What happened here? Well, your sister and her idiot friend Steve kind of uh, kicked Alfred in the nuts. And by kicking him in the nuts, I mean, you know, shot him a few times with submachine guns. I'm going to savor that thought whilst I tip coffee down my neck. Mm -mm -mm. Well, well, well. This is where Alexia was sleeping for all these years. Virus research report. Work continues on the T. Veronica virus, which I extracted from the Queen Ant. The more research I conduct on it, the more I am impressed by how much potential it has. I have finally implanted the virus into my own body and discovered how to utilize its power. I will avoid making the mistake that I made on my father. I will suppress the activity of the virus at an ultra low temperature, so my cells will change slowly. My calculations indicate that it will take 15 years before my body will gain immunity and become able to coexist with the virus. Oof. Until then, I have no choice but to trust the capsule that I will be in to that inept but loyal soldier ant who is my brother. For me to obtain unlimited power, some risks need to be taken. So she doesn't quite see her brothers in, in the same sort of light uh, as he looks up to her. When I awaken, I will be the queen and the T. Veronica virus will be unleashed upon the entire world by my children. Every last creature on earth will exist to serve me. At that time, the world will achieve the perfect ecosystem, just like the anthill, but on a much grander scale. Yeah, uh, unfortunately for her, she doesn't have to deal with one, but two Redfields. Now, if it was just Claire, or just Chris in her clutches, she'd already be fucked. But she's got both of them to deal with, so... 
I mean, make no mistake. Claire doesn't need her brother to rescue her. It just speeds things up a little. Anyway, let's have a look. Something is written on it. As twins, Alexia and I are two sides of a coin. A design is carved under the name of Alexia. Yeah, I can't remember what the rub is with the... Okay. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, it appears that we should do that. Uh, right, stick this in there. And there he is. Mr. Alfred Ashford. Hey, buddy. You, uh... You not, uh, not looking so good, are you, bud? Here, let me just uh, take that ring off you. Now, if we have a little gander at this, we can have a little look. It appears to be the jewel portion. It appears the jewel portion can be removed, I should say. There we go. Metal portion has been removed. Oh, God, don't you just hate interruptions? I'm completely lost to where I was. Uh, yes, right, okay. Uh, take Alfred's jewel. Right, cool. Okay, now, um, I... Oh shit, hang on. We killed that sweeper, didn't we? But we didn't... Ugh, okay. we still got a couple of uh, things to pick up. I've got to edit out a bit of an interruption, but... Let's put that on. You know, I always thought that this uh, actually got rid of the ants, but it doesn't. Which is kind of a bit of annoying. Anyway, let's go back. We've got everything here that we came for. For now. And uh, I actually think by the time I cut out some footage, we're probably uh, on 30 minutes. Now, do we have... Oh, yeah, I think we've just, just got enough space. So, let's head back to the save room. And before we go right back to the save room, we need to make a bit of a detour don't we actually you know what screw up let's just ugh let's go out here a minute we are gonna grab up some stuff in this room yeah this is where the sweeper attacked us but for some reason we didn't pick up the yeah there's two herbs in the corners here as well just in case you you know needed some more herbs because ah uh, <laughs> resident evil we're in a new room so there must be herbs uh, there's also two wings which we need to grab that's really put me off hang on there we go you just hate that when you get interrupted and it just really puts you off your stride uh, such is life um, so we're up to three we've got one more to get lovely I suppose now do we want to go you know what let's just quickly go uh, back to the save room drop some stuff down we're gonna yeah there's no real oh shit we don't be here yet <laughs> not yet you know what? yeah let's just go to the save room save it now and when we come back we shall continue because we've just got to go we've got everything we need now anyway which is nice and I need to upload this video because uh, this video should have gone up hours ago but I haven't had time <laughs> so this video is literally going straight up after I've recorded it right cool let's drop all of this herbage back my God, did anybody ask for some herbs? Jeez, uh, where are we going to put all these herbs? Where are we going to put them all? Um, I guess we've got herbs for freaking days. I guess we'll keep, yeah, we'll keep a mix herb on us, I suppose. Look at all this health, guys. Look at it all. 
Yeah, I think from a health standpoint, we're probably okay. Right, we're going to give it a save anyway, because our time is over again. Uh, I guess we just drop that anywhere. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we return, we're going to go find that last wing. But until then, guys, thanks for watching.